and Steve Albert on sports. This is News 9, Prime Time. Good evening. Tom is off tonight, a night when the Giants, caught in the middle of a hoop, some better squabble are keeping to the middle ground. They are Super Bowl bound and have decided to throw their own party if they win. News 9's Kevin Rosen reports on the issue that triggered a war of words between mayors and counteroffer after counteroffer. They did it. The Giants are in the Super Bowl. Well, now we can finally find out what we've all been breathlessly waiting to hear. Where will a Super Bowl celebration take place? It'll happen right here. The owners of the Giants say that Mayor Koch and the New Jersey mayors were just playing politics. They've known for months that the celebration would be held right here. There's always something political happening, happening in New York, and, and uh, we just didn't want to get caught up in the middle of it again. You know, so the mayor wanted it, I didn't want it, some other people did want it, and go back and forth. Uh, we didn't need it because, as I said, we had had this thing uh, playing now for over two months. That means no ticker tape parade in New York. So where does that leave Mayor Koch, who first called the Giants a New Jersey team, then a regional team when American Express decided to foot the bill for a parade in New York? If they decided that they were going to have it in uh, the uh, stadium, uh, that would be understandable. But nevertheless, the offer uh, still holds, and there's no animosity, animosity either way. He realized he said the wrong thing at first, and now he's trying to change his mind. It's too bad they gave him up. But they let him go, they're here now. Will Mayor Koch be given a personal invitation to this festivity? Well, he said he wouldn't be here, so uh, tickets are scarce. I don't think we'll be inviting him since he already said he'll be out of the country. <laughs> Mayor Koch will be in Poland the Tuesday after the Super Bowl, so no matter where a celebration was going to be held, uh, he would have missed it. I'm sure he'll be there in regional spirit. Anyway, what kind of celebration will it be, and who will be able to attend? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and neither do the Giants or the uh, New Jersey Sports and Expo Exposition Authority, but they're working all that out. My guess is that there's going to be some kind of big celebration inside the stadium that you'll need a ticket for, and then everybody will be able to attend something like a parade outside of the stadium. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Don't hold me to that, though. <laughs> now, <laughs> with so many of the uh, diehard Giant fans on both sides of the river, there will be no end to the party. Steve Albert is here now to tell us about the glee inspired by a giant victory. Steve. All right, Kevin. You could say it's a joy that defies description, but News 9's Carl Churkin tries to put a label on it in this report. Remember us. Today, New Jersey. Tomorrow, Pasadena. Yeah! After all these fans have been through since the last championship in 1956 and a near miss in 63, you can understand the outrageous expressions of their affections for their giants. After all, this team is hot and fans are more than ready to paint this town blue with red and white trim. What does that pennant say? That says New York Giants and it's about 35 years old. That pennant's been thrown off a lot. It's been waiting almost as long as I have. Once inside the stadium, the Giants gave their fans plenty to cheer about. The offense scored 17 points while the defense dominated throughout on a day like no other in the 10-year history of Giants Stadium. The swirling winds inside Giants Stadium are one of the biggest factors in this ball game. And in the end, they swept away years of frustrations for Giants fans. From the Meadowlands, Carl Churkin, News 9 Sports. I wouldn't be surprised if some of those excited fans walk to Pasadena, but for those of you who prefer more conventional travel, you'd better plan early. Travel agents say the best flights are going fast, and game tickets and accommodations could cost you a pretty penny. I'll have more on the victory that triggered... Seven degrees.